day 14 my journey to life vlog series it's the blog I wrote is called I abuse I abused life so yesterday I was on chat and we were discussing pain and um, within this chat Sunette was giving support for you know when you feel pain in your body these are consequential outflows of accumulating um, thoughts emotions and you know living out these points within your world in separation and eventually it will build in your physical body and come out as pain so pain is indicating where you're existing still within the mind and where you're um, you know manifesting separations in your world each point within your body um, is a different um, thought pattern and emotional reactions that you're existing in and as so your body's kind of like a map uh, I know Sunet through the or the portal as Sunet um, the beings coming through are speaking about um, you know pain and body placements of the mind um, to give more support on Equaf. I haven't actually listened to any of them yet, but the other people have been talking about that. So I'll attach a link here for to the first of the video series so you can check it out. Um, so anyways, we were discussing this point of pain, and a few days ago, well, I've ha been having this pain in my neck, and... I, you know, this, we were talking about this yesterday, so, you know, I tried it, I put my, oh, so, okay, so when you feel this pain, Sunet said to put your hand gently on it, press not, you know, hard or anything, just gently press on it, and, you know, go to your solar plexus, become quiet as breath, and see what points come up within your solar plexus area, which is around your stomach area. Um, and I did this, and what came up was anger immediately. And then I looked at this point, and I saw that it was due to me going into, um, I had, like, a anger outburst with my sister based on her throwing out food of mine. And, you know, I just bought in it, and she said she threw it out because there was too much food in the fridge and the I guess I buy a few of these different things just to stock up and there's two in there so she said she just was going to toss one because there was already one in there so within that point I went into anger and I you know kept accumulating the anger within me by thinking about how selfish she was and just going to past memories of how self selfish she's been and just, you know, justifying and accumulating that point within myself. So then I would outburst on her and, you know, say abusive words to her and um, be abusive to her, yell at her and stuff. So I walked forgiveness on this point. Oh, okay, so after that point, so... Once, you know, I outbursted and I kept wanting to go back and just keep yelling at her and get this energy out of me because it was acu accumulating every with all the thoughts that I was just accepting. And through accepting the thoughts, I just wanted to go and just yell at her and get all this now accumulated energy within me that's built up, released it. And I wanted to release it onto her because I was blaming her for you know, throwing out my stuff, seeing her as selfish and stuff. And so when I realized this point, I stopped and I took my dog to the field to play. Um, and within this, like driving there, I was still kind of energetic, you know, had the anger within me. And 
I, you know, we got to the field and I take a racket and tennis balls and I hit the ball and Henry goes and gets the ball, brings it back. Um, just like toss with the ball, but I just use a racket because it goes faster and farther. And so, um, so I was like, I still, the anger built up within me. And so I was whacking the ball like as hard as I could. And, you know, I, I eventually whacked it so hard that I tore a muscle in my neck. And so I did I actually forgot about this event yesterday when I was, you know, doing this point where I was just feeling the pain and seeing what came up. So it shows that the physical, you know, kind of cross-references what is being spoken through the portal and through destiny and shows that, um, you know, the physical is here and it's here to assist us to understand who we're being and how we're separating ourselves. So the pain within yourself is an indicator that you're separating yourself and by touching it you can you know, slow yourself down and, you know, see what point comes up within your solar plexus to, you know, then take that point and write out the forgiveness, which I did. That was what my blog was about. So it was a cool assistant point and tool for you to use and myself to use to gain more points and more, uh, kind of like a little guide for yourself to gain more points within yourself that you need to work on. So within the forgiveness that I wrote about this point, I saw that the anger was based on me not considering her, um, her situation, her life experience, her experiences that I know she's going through at the moment, and herself as within her own processes and her own self-realization process that we're all going through. So instead of, you know, becoming equal and one with her and trying to sort out the situation calmly and find solutions, I went straight to blame anger to exalt my ego, gain control of the situation, and also I saw the point of me trying to be superior to her because I see her as weaker than me, or I have in the past. And so to, you know, because I saw myself as disrespected, I wanted to gain that superiority back. So I flipped out on her and, you know, yelled at her and used this point of anger as fear to, you know, bring her down and submit herself to me so I could gain the control back and the p power within this kind of winning um, scenario of having her submit to me. I would feel good again, and my ego would be, you know, verified, and I would know that I was, you know, the winner in that situation, so I was a stronger one again. So it's still playing out that superior, because this is also compensating for points and moments in my world that I'm still accepting myself to be inferior to people and see myself less than people, so I want to go out as an ego, as my mind, and go compensate for that and become stronger, so I can, you know, have points in my world where I'm stronger, not always a weak one, but stronger. So it's still seeing myself in separation, still seeing myself as weak, still seeing other people as weak, still seeing other people as superior to me. So walking this point of becoming equal with life, accepting myself, and not allowing anger to direct me in these points. Um, what else? Also not considering that, you know, if I was in her situation, I would throw at her food as well if I saw the need to do that. Not asking her, I've done in the past just thrown out her food. So, you know, I don't give her the equality I give myself because obviously I don't get angry at myself when I throw at her food. So, you know, just going straight into blame and not considering that I would do the same thing. And maybe she just saw it as necessary to do because, you know, there's other 
bottles in there, whatever the food was that was thrown out. And so, you know, understanding this point within another and considering the other situation completely um, and just stopping the reaction, stopping going straight into anger, breathing through the anger points of wanting to, the desire to go into anger because it's a strong kind of energy um, point within your body when you become angry. It like builds up and intensifies. So breathing through that intensity and the build up. Also, I found getting out of the situation, meaning not reacting to the situation, just walking away and going to another, like completely leaving the situation so you don't go into the reactions because I found if I stay and I will usually go into the reaction and fight back with the person so I in those self-corrective statements I, I'm walking the point of stopping my stopping the initial reaction of anger through the breathing and just leaving the situation until I have practiced this point and have become stable within the point where I don't react to the person initially and I can be stable and then allow the other person to go through the anger emotion or go through whatever they're going through and then breathe and become stable here and come to, to solutions, you know, walk through the assistance that must be given or that could be given by myself and come to solutions. First, I have to walk this as myself, as a solution, so I have to become stable within these situations. So, walking the breathing, stopping the anger energy, obviously stopping the thoughts of selfishness and blame unto her, as I, within the corrective statements, considering the other as myself, considering her whole life situation, her experiences, also realizing that all are in processes, all are essentially here systems until we've walked ourselves to life and uh you know this is just what's here so this is something to understand about this process that n not everyone or a lot of people aren't are gonna react and um you know those who are walking process now have to become the examples to show people that there's another way you know we don't have to go into reaction and abuse each other through anger and through energy, through ego power trips. So stopping the ego, stopping anger from generating stop by stopping the thoughts and becoming equal and one to what is here as ourselves. I mean, everything here is myself. So stop separating myself from myself, face who I am face the consequences that I've created for myself and, you know, walk the solutions. Do my best to walk the solutions. First, becoming stable here. I mean, I can't move and do anything with inequality and oneness if I'm not equal and one with the being. So I have to practice this point of becoming stable here through the breathing, through the self-forgiveness, through the um, stopping the thoughts, anger. Stopping my ego, of course, becoming equal in one, and accepting myself here. So, um, these are some cool points that came up, and I'm going to walk the correction now of becoming stable within these points of energy accumulation, stopping the thoughts, and, you know, removing myself from the situation until I stand stable and can direct within what is best for all in equality and oneness. So not going into ego and trying to, you know, be a savior, be the best, but stand in self-honesty and walk what I can walk and not direct until I'm stable and know that I'm directing within oneness and equality for what's best for everyone. All right. Thanks for watching.